Hello Unity developers, uh, sorry for late with this tutorial, so this uh, is uh, I have become a real mess with uh, Unity and uh, Google Play, so all apps must use Google Play billing library version 6.0.1 or later, so that's our message uh, from Google Play. So what we need to do now, so we need to update our billing libraries. So by 31st of August this year. So how to do that? that so uh, I see a lot, a lot of uh, wrong comments, uh, especially from Unity team. So this, this is a real uh, mess here. So they claim you need to use latest version of uh, unity to do that but uh, of course we don't i won't do that because it will mess all my project all my games or so uh, we don't want to use 2.22 uh, so i'm using 220.3.4 version so i did it uh, without any problems so uh let's start so we need to switch uh, our play google play uh, billing so go to services so windows package managers and let's go to update this from i think 4.9.4 .4 or something so we will just need to switch to latest 4.12.2 uh, version so okay so find uh, package manager in-app purchasing you see i'm using 4.10 so that's all billing billing library so i will just update to 4.12.2 version so just click update and uh, and wait so it will import libraries so okay so we are importing now so after that there were many errors so gradle errors build errors and or everything so uh, also you need to update your firebase admob and other libraries so you don't need to update unity unity version is not important at least in my in my case here so i don't know why why they they want us to update so we don't want update because it will mess all our projects so there's also small error here and environment selection after after uh, import so we we will just uncomment this i already have that so i already have finished uncomment script so it will now import libraries so okay so we're now we're now made it so it will work it's we we updated the billing libraries so let's try some button okay we are not initialized okay we will start from lobby okay so let's do another thing so what we need to do now is to update firebase so firebase is ca causing that that build errors so there's a lot of errors here that you had also so we will delete firebase uh, that's the version uh, succeeded so I will delete everything in Firebase except my main script. That's this notification controller. I will just, I'm using 8.7.0, but uh, 
we will use 11.5.0 version of Firebase. That's I checked and and it it's it's working. So it's one of the best. So I check it and there's no errors there. Okay. Also, we will delete this external dependency, dependency manager. Okay, we will delete that and import new one with new Firebase version. So let's go and import new new Firebase package. So okay let's go to here and import this 11.5.0 version of firebase so i'm i'm using for messaging so you can use full version so okay so you see it's 1.2.177 external dependency manager so just click import here firebase and admob is causing a lot of errors here so in combination with this uh, new version of in-app in purchases so just wait until it finished There's also one one small thing we need to do uh, that will fix fix the build error after after new in app version. So okay, now it started resolving. So. let's let's wait most of you are using firebase or admob so <clears throat> i figure that the firebase version is causing this errors so okay this will now stuck here but don't worry don't worry we will we will fix that so uh this was some script that i don't use so i will just uncomment this this so it was some some email script okay Okay, so now uh, we clean the project, so here, this will also here stuck, uh, you need to go to edit preferences and just uncheck this and click, uh, I'm using uh, Java 1.8 with Gradle 6.9.3, so uncheck this and try again android resolver and force resolve and it will it will finish now successfully so this is also some bug <clears throat> you see now now it will it will uh, resolve this problem so okay Okay, uh, resolution is now succeeded. So, what we need to go do now is uh, go to build setting, player settings, 
and uh, also check this custom main gradle template so you just need to check that check manifest and this also gradle template uh, properties i will show you how it looks so properties template Gradle template, this is how it looks. I will copy it and paste into in uh, be, uh, below description. So, okay. This one is disabled and the main template is uh, ticked. So, that's all you need to do now. Uh, now, uh, did I forget anything? Uh, yes, if you have some, some Unity purchaser error, you will need to add this two line of codes I, I just put it here on initialize failed and you see this this you need to put here so if you have in-app li listener problems so just paste it so I already done that so I will also put that into description okay so let me show you again my settings edit uh, preferences so i'm using this with gradle 6.9.3 and uh, i'm using unity 2.20.3.4 so it's i didn't update it my projects so uh, everything works fine and uh, also how we will check go to packages in a purchasing plugins and go to here and you see this it's using billing 6.2.1 so that means we successfully upgraded our projects so uh, let's try and uh, check if it works so let's go to our game lobby so this is our some game some test game okay go to shop we go to shop and you see it works now you see everything works so in uh, editor maybe here uh, are some messages but I, ch I test it into my device and everything works fine so coins are added so without any problems you see here they're updating when i when i buy so you can use it so if you have any any question about this uh, you can ask okay so we are bu building now projects so uh also you can uh, of course if you want uh, you can upgrade your unity uh, project uh, to i don't know to latest uh, uh, good version is 2.21.3.18 or 2 2.22.3.3 so uh, there's also many many uh, many versions you can use so i'm using this is old 2.20.3.4 as we said so i also updated to latest uh, latest uh, epi version 34 so that i will show you that in the next video how you can update uh, also that because uh, google also is requesting to update our uh, ap level so uh, there is a lot of work so but uh, if you if you need uh, any help you can contact me at at any time so okay so you see uh, you must use latest version of google play library so after that you just upload your new version to to production and uh, this message will 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 be will disappear in few in uh, so don't worry about that so
Okay, let's see about Gradle, so about 10 minutes, 11 minutes until finished. Okay, so uh, what we done here, so we just updated uh, latest billing version, so that, that was the trick, so and also updated Firebase version to 11.5.0 so about the AdMob you can also update your AdMob version to latest so okay so I think we will now finish okay yes you see Building completed, building completed successfully. So there's our, where's our file? So yes, here it's test APK. So I will just need to show you this build settings I used. So player settings, you see, I uncheck this autographic API. So I check that. I'm using AP level minimum 21, so 21, and the latest was, uh, target was 34, so, okay, so we use that, we use th these two check marks here, so at publishing settings, we use this manifest, this Gradle template, and Gradle prop properties template file, so let me show you. Okay, so manifest also must be must be updated. So okay, so you know you need to add this Android exported to true into your manifest if you targeting AP level thirty four. So, but I will do that in next video. This was just about updating a uh, billing library so windows package manager in app purchasing i use this latest 4.12.2 so i hope it won't have any bugs so i tried it into my mobile phone and it works okay so i still didn't test it on eos but i i see uh, it's i believe it will work so also how you can you can go to your project packages manifest and let's find let's find our in-app purchasing version uh, you see if you change this number it will update it, your version so if you have I, I don't know old version you just need to that's another way how to update it how to update your billing uh, your uh, in-app version so if you have i don't know 4.4.0 and if i click save it will now return into old version of in-app so i will not do that so i i just don't save i just uh, showing another version of how you can update your billing libraries so i will put the scripts that you need to pass into this description so uh, don't forget about uh two codes you need to you need to add so uh, i will put it put it into description so if you have any questions you can ask in comments below thank you